Happy 2023 everybody! I know it's been a couple months with no upload and for those of you who have been sitting by the computer hitting the refresh button every few seconds, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything to the coax lately after a break, but I'm back on it now and have bought a 20 amp alternator. This alternator will allow me to run a bigger electric fan and charge the battery, but of course at the expense of additional weight and power consumption. I'm worried about the machine still being able to hover after this modification, so I'm going to spend some time reducing weight. No, not me, although this would be the most cost effective solution. I'm 6 foot 5 and 15 stone, but I really like beef burgers and pizza, sometimes together. I think modifying the helicopter is going to be my choice for weight reduction before other drastic measures get considered. I've got a massive list of stuff to do on it which I'll plough through. Getting the flight time up is objective number one, as I think that will speed up the learning process. Winter weather cold at the moment, it would have been good to compare the performance from the heat of the summer. I've been told it makes a significant difference, but as tempting as it is to get it out and try, I have to sort the battery charging and cooling issue first. There was a brief time a month ago where I thought, shall I just call the project complete and move on? But after some inspiration from visiting the Western Supermare Helicopter Museum and watching some other home-built helicopters on YouTube, I found the enthusiasm to persist. It would be a shame to come this far without achieving more. I know the machine can achieve more and I suspect my piloting can also be improved on. My congratulations go out to JP Crucker on YouTube for an inspiring flight video over Christmas with his similar coaxial. Damn I make it look hard after watching that smiling through gritted teeth and fist clenching my stress ball. There's also been quite a few Chinese coaxials hovering around, which look very nicely made indeed. It's great that people are sharing these projects and achievements. I can tell you, opening yourself up to online criticism can take some nerve, particularly in this sort of field. When you get told every day by someone that you're going to kill yourself, it can get a little tough. But you have to remind yourself that a lot of the time people are commenting or assuming you're going to fly more than six feet off the ground. In a fixed pitch homemade helicopter would be pretty dangerous, but there are ways to make it less so, if adding a backup electric motor for example. Doing this is all about choices and every decision is of course my own. So here I'm making the choice to continue with the project through the new year as there is more that can and should be achieved. More updates as things progress. Thanks for your attention.